and a bug went up my nose. What's up machine freaks and welcome to the vlog. I hope you guys are enjoying your day. I sure am. I mean look at the weather around me. It's beautiful. I'm surrounded by nature. I'm surrounded by BMW awesomeness. Yeah, yesterday, you know, I came out and told you guys that Prince has passed away. Uh, that video actually helped me out a lot to, to release a lot of what I felt about him. And unfortunately, I made a, a lot of my family cry and a lot of my friends cry and probably a lot of you cry because of the situation. But just know that um, I'm not sad. I'm happy for what Prince brought to me and my friends and family and you guys. I am working on the BMW today and as you guys know I tried to fix this like a couple weeks ago or a couple maybe a week ago. I tried to make it so that this thing could cool down. So I took the thermostat out, put the thermostat housing back on and when I did that then the thermostat housing started to leak. This cap after pressing on the hose I could hear a leak in this cap. But I did buy two new parts. I bought the cap and I bought the thermostat housing. So we should be dialed in today. Granted, you're supposed to let the sealant like sit for a couple hours. Let me ask you something. Have you ever wanted a cold drink? during like a hot summer day and you wanted some ice in a drink and you go into the freezer and whether you have an ice cube tray or an ice cube box, you go and grab some ice cubes, throw it in your drink, but when you do that, you drop an ice cube. You know, no matter what, it's always one ice cube that's just the circumstance. You always have to drop one ice cube. At least that's how it is for me. Just like that ice cube, I forgot something. One stupid thing. But I guess I can grab a second thing and a third thing while I'm at it, right? Frickin' ice cubes, man. As you can see, I got the old thermostat housing out. This one is plastic, it's black plastic. And as you can see, this, this seal has seen better days. So here's the new one. This one's made out of aluminum and it's got a new seal. So that should fix that. This plastic housing went right here. As you can see, there's a red RTV gasket maker there. The reason why I needed this is because there's coolant in here and I had to pull the coolant out of there and throw it into my bin so that it wasn't constantly leaking onto my gasket maker once I put it on there. Now that I have my new aluminum piece on, there was a reason why my hood was lower than it was before, and that was the wind like took it, blew it wide open, and now I got, uh, oh my window doesn't look too good. It really sucks that uh, this happened because, as you guys know, cracks don't lead to less cracks. Cracks lead to more cracks. I hope this window doesn't blow up in my face. I'm really hoping it doesn't when I hit a bump. This would give me a good opportunity to swing this bee out of this truck. Uh, no, not that, but to give you guys an update. I've waited one hour. I put as much of the car back together as I could without putting the coolant in it. Well, I read the instructions on that gasket maker and it says you don't want to have liquid on it within 24 hours, so I'm going to abide by their rules and I am going to do that. Saying that, 24 hours from now, we should have a working BMW, which I'm very, very excited about. I'm not, however, excited about the window. I'm really pissed about the window. Really pissed about the window. Have you ever seen the Safe Light commercials? And a big bump could turn it into a crack. That could happen to the BMW. I don't want that to happen to the BMW. So like I said, we did our work. On a more disgusting note, I think this is the leech pad to my grandmother's house. Because it always stinks here. I'm working. <laughs> and a bug went up my nose. All right, let's get off the disgusting topic. Let's go buy a part or something and go to the store. 
Not only does the field stink, but it's easy to lose tools and parts as well. I lost a, uh, a bolt. Hopefully they have this. Should be somewhere around here. Just stopped at Kroll's. Not only did I get those two bolts, but I also got some headliner stuff. The team at Kroll's has it going on, that's for sure. I just got back to my house and I was looking at the pool and here it is July 31st, almost August 1st. The summer's almost over here in New York and I have not jumped in the pool yet and unfortunately I never got to swim with Prince. I got to swim with him last year but not this year. Kind of stinks. Okay, I'm going to knock off being sad. Instead of being sad, I'm going to give you guys an update. Hopefully it'll take things off my mind and put things into your mind. So anyways, first topic of discussion. Discussion. Invisalign, you got in the way a little bit. Thank you Al Orthodontics in Buffalo for making my teeth straighter and giving me a very, very unique lisp. I do appreciate it. No, seriously, I, I love the product. Anyways, totally off topic. KTM is running like a beauty, absolute beauty. It's not looking the froggy freshest, but it is running froggy fresh. The GS1000 in its prime, not at all. But it is sitting idle very, very well, I have to say. And it's been such a long time, this gas no longer looks like gas. It's like yellow or orange stuff, no good. But we are going to get to that very, very soon. And however, I do not want to promise that. I do want to ensure you that um, it should be within the next week. Um, it could be as quick as two or three days. People aren't stoked about the GS1000 though. They're more stoked about the Gator. The only reason you're concerned about the GS is because you know that 1000cc engine is going to go into this beauty. I have come up with different ideas on how I want to make this thing. Do I want to have it low profile? Do I want to sit up high? Do I want to have a roll cage? All those things. If you have any ideas, leave them in the comment section below. I'd, I'd really appreciate it. Maybe if you if you sent like a link in the comment section to things of this nature, you'd be surprised what a Google search does. I understand that it's been a very, very long time since I started that Gator project. And I do plan on finishing it. The reason why I didn't get to it is because things kept on popping up. All of a sudden that track opportunity was there, so I took advantage of that. KTM wasn't running the best, so I had to pay attention to that before it blew up. And the list continues and continues and continues, whether that's on camera or off camera, things just happen. You, you have to understand that that's how life works. Saying that, I want to bring you guys up to... Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have to sit down for this one. I'm excited to say that I might potentially have an opportunity for you to meet me. I went to edit the footage that I was just about to say and I didn't like any of it, so I want to do it again. As many of you subscribers know, my subscribers know, Street Speed 717 is having an event August 6th. I will be going to his event. It's uh, at Cecil County Dragway. He's going to have 20 creators race on the drag strip, which is awesome. Unfortunately, they can only do 20 for insurance purposes. I completely understand that. But this would give us an opportunity to meet. It would give Mike and I an opportunity to meet. I, I like the way Mike's uh, mind works, and it would be kind of neat to meet him in person. I've only spoken to the guy one time, and that was through YouTube messaging, and that was right around when I was buying my Duramax. He just bought his Duramax, and I just asked him a little bit about what I should do to my truck, and, and he replied, which was awesome. But it's great that he's putting this on, not only for you guys, but for all us creators to kind of correlate and, and kind of understand each other. I mean, that's the best people in business do. They they network, they correlate, and they and they make stuff happen. And that's entertainment for you guys. So if you could do me a huge favor and go over to Mike's channel and tell him 3D Machine said thanks for putting this event on and giving us all the opportunity to take advantage of this. Thanks, Mike. I am going to end today's video on that note. I ha I know from the past a lot of people have wanted meet and greets, and, and this is a great opportunity that I haven't even coordinated, but somebody else has coordinated. And, and made happen, so I have Street Speed 717 to thank. I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. Tomorrow, we are going to get to the BMW. We might also get to the headliner of the Duramax, I'm not sure, but we're definitely gonna accomplish those two things very, very soon. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Until tomorrow, keep it super, super froggy fresh. 3D Machines out. <laughs>